For the second time in less than a week, police believe vandals have struck first. As you mentioned last week, it was Plymouth Rock. Today, the 9-11 Memorial. It's to pay tribute to the people that lost their lives. A place of remembrance, of reflection that was a labor of love. At first I was angry, then I'm heartbroken and it's just sad. After our country was attacked nearly 19 years ago, Plymouth resident and then selectman Dick Quintle wanted to do something. He took out a second mortgage to make this possible. This morning, police told him that his sacred memorial had been vandalized. The statue of a police officer that stood alongside that of a firefighter for more than 15 years had been toppled and damaged. People don't know that families come here. It comes less than a week after Plymouth Rock was vandalized. Ken Tavares chairs the Board of Selectmen. He says officials do not know if there's a connection. Completely uncalled for. I equate it with damaging a cemetery. The damage is compounded by the fact that this statue replaced the original statue when it was vandalized years ago. My father actually got me the police officer the second time. And uh, he's not here. And what would your message be to those responsible? Stop. Stop. Uh, completely uh, unwarranted. Uh, to just think about it. If this had your family member's name on the memorial, how would you feel? And the firefighters union here has already stepped up, vowing to make this right. We're live in Plymouth tonight. Julie Lonchak, WCBB News Center 5.